Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today will be a little bit more of a story time telling video um, about what happened to my long split dye hair. I was planning to get rid of my split dye hair when I made the video. That's why I started YouTube because I already knew I was gonna switch up my split dye hair and I just wanted to make a quick video before I did that. However, it wasn't supposed to be, you know, a length change. So I was planning to get rid of my split dye hair and go to red hair, like more of a natural red hair color. Um, I went to the salon to get this done. So the first time that we discolored my black side, because you know, it was very much very black. Um, went well, of course, very uneven and a weird light brown, dark blonde color because it wasn't permanent dye that we used. So the black was getting out pretty well. However, it was very uneven and pretty ugly because of the length of my hair. And most of the time what hairdressers do, they dye over it to make it the light patches darker again. But I was like, no, I want to keep it as light as possible so the next time will be easier for, you know, the next time we're going to bleach my hair. It will be even lighter. I didn't want to throw another dye over it to get rid of it the next time. I should have done that. What was the thing is I walked around with very a very ugly half of my hair because it wasn't even and a strange bleached color, you know. So I was like, okay, I want this to be done as quickly as possible. So now I was ignoring my own advice from my own video about my split dye long hair. So they said to me, at least wait a minimum of two weeks before you, you know, discolor your hair again. So after exactly two weeks, I was at the hair salon again and they said, you're pretty soon, but okay, that's, that's where we went wrong. Never ever be impatient with discoloring your hair. Really take big breaks for at least a month. I did not do that. They discolored my hair again. I went to that salon for, I don't know how long, six years and three years of discoloring my hair. I went from red to white, so I discolored my hair before twice there, but I had a month in between and not two weeks. So I was sitting underneath that heat hood thing with one side in bleach. Those thingies are warm, but after like a minute or five I was like, wow, this, this shit is on pretty hot because it felt hot. So I was moving forwards out of the heater thingy because I thought oh, it's a little bit too hot and my ear as well so I was like whatever I'll move myself out a bit but then when I was sitting forwards I was like um okay okay it's getting even hotter now that's strange you know so I was already standing up a little bit like this from what the fuck is going on and then another hairdresser walked by and she looked at me like what are you doing and I was like okay hot 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 can you please rinse this stuff out because it's getting painful now so she was like sure come here come here and she uh, rinsed it out with cold water apparently because I could not see it but apparently there was steam coming off my hair that's uh, not something that should happen <laughs> with hair if you rinse out hair dye so yeah so then the hairdressers gathered around my hair and they were not really telling me anything apparently when she grabbed my hair, um, I have still a bit here. It was this side, this was my black side. Like this side is very straight and pretty healthy and this side is still, I mean it's already pretty straight because I grew it out a lot but it's still a little bit more uneven. This side is a little bit warmer than this side because I could not bleach it any more than it already has been bleached. There were still some dark spots in there, but apparently when one of the hairdressers grabbed my hair, um, we're here we have like a short, oh look here it is, still is, I, I'm covered in bruises from my dog. But apparently when she grabbed my hair, she was like literally pulling my hair apart from each other, like it broke off and it was like snot, you know, it was not good, it wasn't good. I know those people from the salon, I know the people who worked at the salon, she asked the owner if he could come over and look at what happened and I I know the owner I can get along with him pretty well and he's also always that a little bit annoying funnily mean jokes kind of guy he was blood 
fucking serious. Like, he was bloody fucking serious. He was not joking around, not messing around. I've never seen him like that before. I never heard him talk like that before, but he was like, you need to get this, you need to get that. I want to throw that in her. Don't touch her hair and do this and do that. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? You know, they were not telling me anything because they were so focused on saving my hair. I still didn't know what was going on. Like, I was a little bit more like sitting in a chair from, oh fuck, <laughs> they have to do it all over again because I did not imagine that something like that could happen to her. So I was like, oh, right, we have to go all over again another time. Well, that sucks, you know, but hell to the fucking note that there was bleach coming in my hair for another couple of months. There was actually a girl there that I already knew before she worked there. So she walked up to me and she was the only one honest to me and she was like, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but you should prepare for short hair because what happened is it's not good, it's not pretty. And she was the only one who told me anything. So I was like kind of glad that she did, but I was like freaking the fuck out. I ended up being uh, at the hair salon for over five hours for them saving my hair and everything. So the idea was to go to this very long, straight, natural red hair. I thought, well, maybe we go darker first. I don't know how well the bleach takes. I didn't want to bleach more than two times. <laughs> Still too much, apparently. But the thing was, because my hair damaged so much and so bad, they could not put in regular dye. So they had to go for a special dye without chemicals which is like pure pigment. It was very funny stuff. It was Goldwell Illumin. That's apparently very, it's very bright and um, it doesn't have any chemicals. So it's, it's bright as fuck. <laughs> but they were like, we're gonna give you red hair anyway because that's what you wanted, right? It's gonna be a little bit of different red than you chose though, because we cannot get the regular dye in there. So I was like, okay, great. And I still, till that time, I didn't see my hair. Still, I did not know what the situation of my hair was. I did not know if it was like, it was practically pulled on one side or when they put in like the red hair dye, they put it in, in two buns and I couldn't, I tried to see with my, you know, uh, telephone what was going on, but because it wasn't two buns, I couldn't see it. I can show you um, how red my hair was because I, know cut off my hair while it was red and I still have that hair so let me grab that real quick so this was my hair situation this was already washed after a couple of times it was way more red and way brighter um, so this is one side of my hair this was the healthy side that I cut off because I thought you know I decided to cut it off I will tell you now why they cut off a piece not very big in the beginning it was like this much or something it was still very long but what was you can already see that it's uneven here I have one length hair I had one length hair this situation was going all throughout my 60 centimeters long hair so I, I was not really feeling that I was first a little bit checking it out like how it was going and maybe I should you know cut up the other side in layers or cut it all in layers and do something different with my hair but every time that I brushed this side the black burned side of my hair like big pieces would break off like terrifying big pieces would break off and it would get uglier after a couple of washes because um, healthy hair takes up dye but unhealthy hair does not so you could see like the dry patches in my hair very well because that would become yellow and the rest would be um, red, orange. And there were dark pieces in there still because, you know, I was under that hood for five minutes if it wasn't any less. So, you know, most of the bleach wasn't able to do its job. Although it did its job a little too well or something. So I had dark patches, I had light patches, I had uneven hair and I was like, I'm not gonna do this. I always wanted to try a bob, don't get me wrong. Uh, maybe not that particular timing, but I always wanted to try a bob. So I was like, cut it all off. I already put it on Snapchat and my hairdresser uh, followed me on Snapchat and she was like, are you sure? And I was like, yes. Getting rid of this side, I mean this was the burn off side, wasn't that bad at all, but getting rid of this side mean it was so long and so silky and just like, you know, this and I'm very long and red and it was 
rather painful so I asked if she could put it in a braid and cut it off so this is half of my hair so I it's my hair is pretty thick I was very lucky there if I would have any thinner hair or like my sister's hair my sister hair has very straight and silky hair as well but way thinner than my hair then I probably would have had bald spots there was this first layer of my hair this was already broken off till here and the rest was a little bit longer and uneven but half of my hair was already pretty short and then there is this picture like an hour before I went to the hairdresser or right before I went to the hairdresser and you can see how long my hair actually was it was insanely long <laughs> Um, because I had a little bit of an identity crisis after that. I think in the beginning I cut it off till here. When I still had this hair color, I cut it off till here. But it was crazy how short some pieces were because I still had uneven hair, I still had short pieces. A pretty big one on the side that was like still this short. So I was like, no, I want to be, I want it to be even shorter. I was like, I have short hair anyways now, so let's just try a extreme short bob. I shouldn't have done that because the hair that I had before, you know, this length and then the red hair color was actually quite pretty if I look back now because I had such a different look going on anyway, it was a little bit crazy and I was just figuring out a way to make this work, you know, the new hair work so I cut it off very short and then I was like, oh let's add a fringe too because you know, I'm short now anyway, just let's experiment a bit uh, that was just why did I cut a fringe? I hate fringes. Like it's this situation right now, my fringe. So it's it's grown out pretty well. I should have never done it because they annoy the living shit out of me. <sighs> Don't cut a fringe. I'm gonna let it grow out. I'm already happy that it's now um, past my jaw. Oh, you can see it here. Yeah, past my jaw because it was you know annoying me like this. This, this. no, it wasn't the look. I regretted it practically five seconds after I cut it so so I was a little bit on a search of what I was gonna do with my hair next because with the extreme short bob I didn't like the red hair because I felt like a clown I didn't like it also because it was so bright but my hairdresser was like I'm not gonna put bleach in your hair anymore I'm not I don't care if we cut off all the damaged pieces I'm not gonna do it anymore which I completely understand she was also pregnant so I was like cool I don't want to stress her out even more you know she was already pretty traumatized by me so I went to another salon and you know a lot of people can think like you know the that salon you went to did it wrong something wasn't working that day and we do not know what so I went to another salon because I want the red hair to be out and I told them this was a different hair dye and it's a well-known hair salon here in the Netherlands a very flogger famous hair salon and I told them this is not a regular dye that they use they used Goldwell Illumin I didn't know what that was I was like they're the hairdressers they should know apparently you cannot bleach Goldwell Illumin it will get brighter with every bleach so you cannot bleach it what did this hair sun and do? Although I specifically told them every time that this was Goldwell Illumin, they bleached my hair. So when they rinsed the bleach out, they were like, oh, I was like, yeah, I told this was another dye. I don't know if you have done any research at all on this dye or that you know anything about this dye at all, but they took on a job and I had to pay the full price for it. Uh, the boss of my former salon saw me and he was like, did you discolor your hair or did you bleach your hair? And I was like, yeah, the different salon because my hairdresser at his salon was afraid to bleach my hair and I totally understand it. And he was like, nonsense, we're gonna fix your hair for free and I don't know what the salon did, but you cannot bleach Goldway and Lumen. They have a special product that dissolves the color that is also non-toxic and non-chemical so I was like, oh, fuck it, you know? it doesn't matter where I go, apparently salons all over the world and all over the place make their mistakes so I was like, I went back to my former salon where I've been for years and for like half a year I got stuff and every hair transformation for free so they did fix it I mean, I didn't have to pay for the first <laughs> mistake as well, they even offered me to put in extensions like very expensive permanent extensions but I didn't want that I just wanted my own hair and I just wanted my own healthy hair 
So they went along with my crazy changes and my search for what I wanted and they made a very light um, ombre for me first and then they just colored my hair again and then they made it white for me again because that's something I was like if I'm gonna rock a bob I want it to be white because that was something I did like um, still my hair was pretty short it was just too short for the shape of my face it was just not working for me now it finally reached the length that I'm like okay I'm cool with this you know I'm, I'm fine with this it's finally getting longer um i still have a long way to go because i do want to go to my former very long hair again it also sucks that i couldn't donate my hair because i always thought if i'm gonna cut my hair i'm gonna donate my hair i couldn't donate it because one side was damaged beyond and the other side was with a dye that they cannot take out and a very bright hair dye so unfortunately i couldn't donate it because you know, if I would have been able to donate it, I think I would have, you know, be able to live with it a little bit better. This is such the opposite of what I have right now. So yeah, that happened to my hair. So I advise you to please, please, please be careful with bleach, especially at home, but also at the salon. But if one hair salon says, we're not gonna discolor your hair, it's gonna damage your hair. And you're like, but I wanna discolor my hair and I'm gonna go to the other hair salon that does gonna do it. I would reconsider that salon because if they say no, we're not gonna discolor your hair because it will damage your hair then they're actually taking care of your hair just don't bleach your hair I still need to cut off a big piece of this side I think like once I cut like this piece off it will practically be 99% healthy again I do not want to complain about it too much because there are way more serious things going on in the world right now than my fucking broken off hair so I'm not gonna complain about it. It does affect your self-esteem though. I mean, I was very insecure for a very long time. Um, I'm finally starting to get that back, especially with this hair color. I'm feeling myself, if I'm allowed to say that, I am feeling myself with this hair color. So yeah, for all the people that kept on asking, where's my long hair? Where's my split dye hair? I chose to get rid of my split dye hair because I had it for a very long time and during that process my hair burned off so I had to cut it sorta of less smooth. So yeah, that was that. Now you can all stop asking me questions what happened to my long hair and what happened to my split dye hair. It's answered now. It would be very much appreciated if you stop asking those questions because it brings out memories that I do not want to remember. So yeah, thank you so much. Bye!